that you're structuring some, the school is structuring some different class configurations. So I'm going to be working with some people and other people will work with other people, but I'm not going to work with anybody that doesn't take good notes because I'll just be talking for the sake of talking. So I don't want to do that. So Miss Pam, if there's anybody that I'm supposed to work with or suggested to work with me, if they don't take notes, take them off of my list. So we'll go back to angles now. Uh, I think we covered it, but you'll tell me. These markers are not dark enough and I want you to be able to see. So if I label this A, B, C, D, E. One, two, three, four. I'm hoping you can see this. So we have two lines or two line segments because they don't have arrows, so I know they're not going on indefinitely. Uh, C, D. I would write C, D just as a review like that. Line segment. This says line segment C, D. Line segment A, B. So, if how would you describe, other than the number four, angle four for me? Just one person, tell me. How would you say that? Angle four. How could you describe that? Angle what? AB. No, there's no angle AB is here. I'm talking oh. about this angle right here, number four. Angle AB. A what? Angle AD. AD? Yes. There's no angle AD. That's this. To, to label an angle, you need three letters if you use letters. Oh, I did it. Angle A-E-D? A-E-D. That would be good. A-E-D would be four. What's your other choice? What's your other choice? What's your other choice for angle four? D E A, that's four. Yay. How would you, other than saying angle two, other than saying angle two, how could you label it? C E B. C E B. What other choice do you have? B E C. B E C. So you would write it like this angle C E B or angle B. E C. Why is the E in the middle? I don't know. You don't know? Because it's a vertex, you said. Because it's a vertex, and the vertex has to be in the middle. So that's why you put it in the middle. So this would be the vertex. Okay, good. So now, did we talk about the the angles in a triangle already? No, you need to have a seventh grade. Okay, so we need to do it here. So let's say this is uh, A, B, C. So we got three angles in a triangle. So this applies to every triangle, no matter what its shape is. This rule applies. So write the rule down, you'll never forget it. Angle A plus angle B plus angle C will always equal 180 degrees. In any triangle, the three angles will make, will add up to a sum of 180.
So now I'm going to give you an example. And we'll talk about some special applications. Can you see this triangle here? Yes. Does it look to you as if AC and CB are about the same length? No. Well, let's assume that they were equal in length. And I'll show that by these two marks. So those two sides, let's say they're equal. Any triangle that has two equal sides has a special name. We call it isosceles. Uh, there may be a C in there, Ms. Pounds. I think there's a C. But you, you guys can correct it if I have it wrong. So, any isosceles triangle has two equal sides, and the angles opposite those sides are also equal. So just write that down for now. We'll talk about it later, but you'll recognize it. So if these angles are equal, let me say, if this is uh, 60 degrees, this would have to be 60. And what if my question to you is, what is this? If that's 60, that's 60, what does this have to be? Because we know the three of them have to add up to this, right? So if that's 60 and that's 60, what is this? 